So we are very interested in studying the health benefits and the cancer-fighting properties of local uh, sustainable uh, methods that actually generate foods. And we, we believe that there can be large differences. And we've already seen that these types of differences can occur in other measures of food. Embarking on a journey to unveil the natural guardians in our battle against disease and the pursuit of optimal health, we find solace and power in the bounty of our diets. Today, we delve deep into the insights of Dr. William Lee, a renowned scientist and advocate for food as medicine, who introduces us to foods that do more than just satisfy our taste buds. They fight cancer, bolster fat burning, and enhance our overall health. Let's explore these five extraordinary foods endorsed by science to transform our health landscape. First on our list are tomatoes, nature's red jewels, rich in lycopene, a potent antioxidant, Tomatoes help protect against sun damage, reduce the risk of certain types of cancer, and may contribute to heart health. Well, the best example I know is a study of 79,000 men followed over 20 years, in which it was found that men who consumed cooked tomatoes two to three times a week had up to a 50% reduction in their risk of developing prostate cancer. Now, we know that tomatoes are a good source of lycopene, and lycopene is anti-androgenic. But what's even more interesting from this study is that in those men who did develop prostate cancer, those who ate more servings of tomato sauce actually had fewer blood vessels feeding their cancer. Lycopene is a fat-fighting bioactive. Here's what it does. It actually takes our harmful fat and helps to burn it down by activating a special kind of fat we have in our body called brown fat. So brown fat can, good fat can burn down white fat, which is harmful fat, dangerous fat, and eating tomatoes will light that up, improve your metabolism, improves your metabolic profile overall, lowers bad cholesterol. This is all with tomato, and it actually shrinks your waistline as well. One study that was done actually took normal, healthy young women who were not overweight or obese, okay, because many researchers, many, much, a lot of research is done with people who are already overweight, but this is actually taking young, healthy female grad students who don't have extra weight, they're considered normal body size, whatever that means, okay? That, that, that can be debated. But the bottom line is that they had just one tomato to eat before lunch every day, and they were able to lose weight and improve their metabolism. Very achievable dosing, so tomato can actually do it. Next, green tea, a soothing beverage that's more than just a comforting ritual, and reduce the risk of cancer. Drinking a few cups daily can offer a simple way to boost overall health. Green tea, especially, has a natural polyphenol that's called catechins, EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG. And the catechin is actually just part of the natural substance in the tea leaf. So whether you're brewing tea with a bag or whether it's loose leaf tea or whether it's matcha, which is just powdered tea leaves, the fact of the matter is that into the brew, into the liquid, hot liquid, comes all these phytochemicals, including these catechins. So when you sip straight tea, the catechins go right in, they're easily absorbed um, by your body. And so, you know, your, our blood levels of catechins go way up. So many things that catechins can do. One of the things that's important is actually, it's, it's a relaxant. It actually helps lower your stress. It lowers the catecholamines. And so uh, other things that helps your lipids, it actually also helps fight cancer, it's anti-inflammatory. A substance that has so many beneficial things that at least when I drink tea, I want, I want to get as much as I can out of my food. Next berries, they are not only delicious, but also densely packed with nutrients and antioxidants. Packed with vitamins, fibers, and antioxidants, berries such as strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries can protect against oxidative stress and inflammation. Berries, and we started talking about berries, have this elagic acid and anthocyanins, dark berries like blueberries blackberries and even strawberries you know anthocyanin is a kind of a reddish purplish natural dye that is anti-androgenic immune boosting activity eating berries actually is really helpful for your health defenses so that's by the yeah. way if you have berries do please don't put tons of sugar on them let mother nature's sugar you know that most berries are not that sweet strawberries have also been shown to actually improve your metabolism. And what's really interesting by eating strawberries is that although strawberries can be sweet, when they measured blood sugar, eating strawberries in a way to improve your metabolism, not only decreased weight and uh, waist size and lowered weight and decreased body fat, 
it also didn't raise blood sugar. So this whole idea, another kind of like common idea that's kind of a uh, kind of like a paintbrush idea. Eh, don't eat fruit. It's got too much sugar in it. It's got too much fructose. It might kind of sound like it makes sense on a casual level, but the science actually doesn't show that. And the reason is that the bioactives in the strawberry activate your body, so it starts to burn down the bad fat. You know? Okay, so you can actually metabolize even faster. Next, dark leafy greens. They support bone health, improve digestion, and reduce the risk of chronic illnesses dark leafy greens. Now, it sounds like it might be trite to say that, but I can tell you that there are chemicals that have been identified called sulforaphanes and isothiocyanates that are present in chicory, in broccoli, broccoli sprouts, and kale, radicchio, you know, lots of these, and anthocyanins, there's lots of these natural chemicals. And in the lab and in the clinic, they actually all have been, all been shown to be associated with being able to help fight cancer. On top of that, many of these leafy greens have a lot of fiber. And we talked in a past video about dietary fiber, feeding your gut microbiome, which then lowers your inflammation. Your gut microbiome, the bacteria talks to your immune system, which then helps you fight cancer. There's nothing wrong with that. And in today's kind of Google video world, uh, YouTube world, if there's a green that you didn't like because the way your mom cooked it wasn't so great, go ahead and type in that, that dark leafy green, dinosaur kale, you know, radicchio, bok choy, and search recipe um, and video, and you'll watch somebody like the Food Channel tell you an amazingly delicious way to make it that can be done in 20 minutes or less kind of thing. Lastly, dark chocolate, a sweet treat that's good for your heart. High in flavonoids, dark chocolate, with 70% cocoa content or higher, can improve heart health by increasing blood flow and reducing blood pressure. In cacao, which is a bean, which then you process to actually get, you know, kind of the cocoa powder. Um, if you take the really dark chocolate, like 73% cacao, the really dark chocolate, and you make it into a high flavanol hot chocolate drink, and you have it twice a day. This was the clinical study. They found in people who wound up actually having, um, uh, drinking the hot chocolate twice a day over the course of a month, they doubled the number of stem cells compared to the people. And so, okay, so the question is, is that important? Well, when they measured their blood flow, mm -hmm. what they did is they put a blood pressure cuff on them and which, you know, kind of like um, lowers the, uh, the circulation of the blood, they didn't let it go. They found that the blood flow was much vastly improved. Wow. So here's a functional uh, uh, result that actually means it makes a difference. Empowered by Dr. Lee's wisdom, embracing these five foods opens the door to a diet rich in health benefits, flavor, and vitality. Remember, the journey to wellness is paved with the choices we make every day, from the leafy greens on our plates to the sip of green tea that warms our souls. Join us as we continue to explore and integrate the power of food into a life well-lived.